Hey guys, um, another reminder that this is a holiday week. So um, the market's, you know, pretty dead, but man, there's individual stocks making crazy moves. I'm just showing you the daily candle on the spy here. This is really, really narrow range. Again, holiday week, market closes at one on Thursday. It's closed all day on Friday. And what is, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. So, you know, we basically got one full day left in the week and then who knows what to expect on Thursday. Probably low volume both the next day and a half though. Um, but some quick highlights before I go into the watch list for tomorrow. PTON, look at that gap up today. Uh, let's see, I don't have after hours on here. So Wayne called this uh, second mouse to 159, which is right about there. And went pretty much straight to 166. By the way, you always want to stick with the, who you know, uh, keep an eye on, I should say. I don't want to say follow, but keep an eye on who has the hot hand. And Wayne has been um, just seeing things beautifully clear lately. Um, so if you're in chat and you're not watching him and, and checking his posts, you're doing yourself a disservice. He is just seeing things really, really well. Uh, here's another example, THCB, which probably looked about like this when he gave out the second mouse through 1750 idea with the high of day above. And it did this for a while. Um, and then as it started to curl up, he, you know, even gave a, a late day, Hey, close eye on this. If you like it through 1750 and look what it does. This is, these are five minute candles. So. I don't know, in about eight or nine minutes, uh, maybe 10 minutes, um, it goes up from 1750 to 1873. Um, what a great call. What a great way to end the day for a lot of people. Uh, CBAT, Wayne called through six. It's like the Wayne highlight reel. Wayne called CBAT, CBAT through six there. Went all the way up to 660. Um, workhorse, Allen H. Um, beautiful. I love this call. It's that 15s buy zone look. By the way, if you like the 15s buy zone pullback, which I do, you should have Allen H on your hot script. I do because he spots these all the time. Um, when Workhorse WKHS looked about like this, he gave the 22 flush idea. Look at that. Right in the middle of 15s buy zone. What does it do? Goes down, takes it out. I don't know, by not even a dime and never looks back and goes back through the high of day. So from anywhere right there at or below 22, went to 23, 40 something. Um, and there's just a few highlights. Again, I, I just wrote down a few. The, the chat room is on fire. SBE, I give one more. Um, Sahil was the first one to post this today uh, th through 41. And that was just this little flag break right here uh, with BLNK was ripping. He called the second mouse through 41 and actually took this one and it went pretty quickly to 42.55. It ended up rolling over, but we're traders, so you make a lot of money here. Um, and then some other people called it again later in the day, actually, um, and Blink as well. So there's some highlights. Again, I could probably go on for 30 minutes showing you some of the great stuff in chat today, but uh, a lot of you were there and you don't need to see it. And um, whoops, I've got to get to, I've got a thing tonight, which is why I'm doing these videos kind of early. It's, you know, it's a holiday busy week, right? So trying to knock these out so I don't have to get home and uh, do them late, which sucks, trust me. Um, so here we go. EQOS is Bitcoin related and went out at its highs today. Uh, it's kind of a recent high flyer after this big move back here. Um, Mara, MARA and Riot were on fire. Um, Bitcoin's still pretty strong. So this one I'm watching for a uh, follow through day tomorrow. We'll see, right? BTBT in that same space. Pretty interesting over today's high, which was 685. Then you might get through that 705 recent high. And all this is going to depend on kind of what Bitcoin's doing for, for those two, for EQOS and BTBT. ATXI is kind of a sleeper pick, but it's in the video nonetheless. Um, you had this huge two day move. Then yesterday, a quiet inside day. And actually, today, another little quiet inside day. So I like it over this two day high. It might just rip again. EVLO is another what I would call a sleeper pick, really strong recently. And you've got a couple inside days, the last two days. These both kind of look extended, but they're also both holding up really well. And when I say both, I mean ATXI and EVLO. BWEN, I believe this is a wind energy play. Um, volume spike today, but that still didn't even hit a million shares. So that'll show you that it's kind of a thinner stock, right? But I do like the chart. I like to look here, strong day. Um, and then you got some other highs not that far above. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one. CURO. Big volume day, couple days lower on declining volume goes on bounce watch. VVPR, this is a, another sleeper pick, but the solar plays are so strong. And if you go to like 15 minute candles, VVPR is a solar play, but it generally doesn't get the attention, some of the others, but 
on a 15 minute basis here showing you what about 10 days maybe um, you did have a nice volume spike this morning and it ended up curling kind of back up who knows maybe through eight tomorrow then we could take out this uh, 810 and, and maybe get going maybe it becomes recognized as a solar sympathy but when you switch back to the daily chart here it certainly isn't a standout i mean look at some of these others let's see run that's not great jks um, spwr csiq these are all really really strong charts so um anyway ciic um had a big pop pull back another pop and pulled back to that buy zone and is starting to curl back up i kind of think this is the one speaking of highlights i think dylan called this through 32 right here when it looked you know before it triggered when it looked about like this and look what happens it breaks 32 and goes almost to 3450 another great example of the teamwork um, but a strong enough move that I want to watch it tomorrow FRSX this thing's really extended um, I'm actually surprised this didn't already run those whatever they call them LIDAR plays I keep thinking FRSX is the first stock I ever traded that was uh, tied in with autonomous driving vehicles right and, and then all of a sudden all these uh, laser and and uh oh god i can't think of them some of the others uh were just ripping today uh vldr and this one finally i think maybe got refound as one of those plays so it's extended but we're going to watch that one pltr you can picture a trend line here it's it's really kind of hit the top of a trend line sold off but the chart's still strong so that one goes on long watch um fuv couple ev plays fuv trying to break out of this uh consolidation that i showed you in the video last night um it ended up gapping up closing above its open but well off of its highs that one and solo both feel kind of solo feels a little more coiled because uh let's see today's high 763 yesterday's high 765 so over that range maybe this one gets going um i don't love fuv and solo but they're they're, they're kind of interesting and that space might get going again um and then thcb i showed you wayne's call late in the day through 1750 um when we go back and look at the daily this has already had a huge two-day move but uh, this is in that EV battery uh, space and all that. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's strong. So I'm going to watch it again. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. Quit babbling. And we will see you guys in the chat room in the morning.